Hey there, brothers and sisters. This is the Stupid Food Show with Jesus and Tortilla. We got something new for you. It's the new Red Baron Pizza Melt. Red Baron makes pretty quality product. We get their breakfast pizzas all the time. But uh, this is a bold pizza flavor sandwich between crispy toast, crispy and melty. And it even comes with a crisping tray. I'll show you that. So that's why I did make it in the microwave. Sometimes those actually do turn out pretty well. But uh, it's crispy toast topped with pizza sauce, mozzarella cheese, pepperoni made with pork, chicken, and beef. It's very specific. When I was a kid, just shut up. I want to talk. We always, um, we had those like cast iron clamshell things that people, you got a long metal stick and People poke those into their campfires, but I, when I was growing up, we had a huge wood stove. We heated with wood, so we it, we used to make them in the um, wood stove. It was just a couple pieces of white bread, you put some mozzarella cheese, pizza sauce, and some pepperonis. These exactly like this, and those were like I grew up with a couple brothers and a sister. We love those things. That was like a special night for us. I'm hoping, hoping upon hope, that this captures, I don't know, the essence of those cast iron hobo pies. A lot of people put pie filling in them. I think sometimes we did that too, but it was mainly about the pizzas. Hobo pie. I don't know if that's an acceptable terminology anymore. It's probably disrespectful to hobos. I don't know. I love the hobos. Anyway, so you got your, uh-oh, already got a problem. Already got a problem. Not really. I should have just taken it off immediately. Kind of, uh, kind of adhered to the surface. Woo! <sighs> My fingies! All right. I didn't want to pick it up. It's too hot. But it does have a nice toast to it, doesn't it? And I'll show you what you got. That's what makes it hopefully tasty is it does have a crisping sleeve. You do have the option of a conventional oven, if you will. But I did, I went with the crisping sleeve because that's the way most people are going to make it, I think. No people are going to, nobody's going to put it in their oven. You sit up there for me? Just sit up. I'm trying to help you. You're drunk. You're drunk. Got an empty one, too. All right. It's so hot, though. Like, I want to try it. Oh, my God. You're so drunk, Red Baron. He went out drinking with Captain Morgan last night, and I don't know. They got that new vanilla cream, and it's just not going to do it. He's just not going to do it, so I'm just going to put it on the side. Screw you, Red Baron. Screw you. Okay. I don't want to get burned. There you do. Like I said, there you do. There you go. It's a nice little toast on it. It doesn't feel that crispy. It doesn't feel that crispy. But the, this, the edges are a little crispy. Okay. Here we go. Oh, man, this is hot. This is, like, too hot to touch. And I'm just going to go in because I've just been... Ooh, there's sauces. Oh, that's probably from the... Well, there is sauce. Okay, here we go. I was hoping it was going to have like a little bit of a crunch to it. Um, it's kind of soft, but it's actually really, it's got a good flavor. Bye, Cam. Mm. I'm a garbage. I'm a garbage belly. I love certain things. Junky. I actually do like this. It's a little soft. I was hoping there was going to be a little crunch, but the inside is really, really good. <laughs> Yeah. 
I had some frozen stack witches the other day from Tyson. Those are, I reviewed them. They're just god awful. But this, I'm down with this. It's tasty. It looks kind of like the pitcher. I like it. I'm glad I got another one of them. But, I'm going to try the conventional oven or hot air fryer. Because, man, this thing is good. It's good, Clark. I don't know. All right, wrap this up. That's good. That's good. Except for, it, I was hoping for a crisp. But, you know, can't always get what you want. We'll try it with the conventional. I'm going to give this 8.9. Love you guys. Love you, babe.